Hi everyone, um, I'm going to give you a quick demo of this uh, vibration analyzer system, iPad based vibration analyzer system by MotionX. Um, I'm going to go over some details of the software for vibration test, vibration analyze, analysis, and we have a small uh, demo motor here that we can use that one to run and get uh, capture vibration. So what I have here, I have vibration analyzer. When you get this one, this is a kit. It comes in, in, uh, in a protective industrial carrying case. Um, it comes with the iPad, which is an optional. You decide what type of iPad you want and it comes with it. Um, there's a, uh, a protective industrial um, uh, case for the iPad. And on the back of that, as you can see, we have two channel signal conditioner that has two input and it's connected to our iPad. Um, uh, on channel one, I uh, have this uh, um, um, piezoelectric accelerometer, industrial accelerometer that comes with the whole kit. And um, it has an extendable cable. The accelerometer uh, comes with the um, a solid industrial um, um, uh, magnetic base, which I guess in this case is like 85 or 82 pound force. Uh, magnetic base. The magnetic base base has like a, a, a two pole magnet that can sit on any on any uh, round shape uh, uh, surface or flat surface. Everything's connected. Uh, let's go through the software. Uh, there are a couple of software comes with the vibration kit that we're talking about here. The main the, one of them is called like vibrometer, uh, which is more for overall vibration measurement of uh, several standard type of machine like motor, pumps, gearbox, spindles, and, and you can generate a standard report out of that. The second one is a vibration analyzer app called Vibrotest Pro by MotionX. I'm going to go through this uh, app uh, here. So you have to install that app, of course, and um, you have to have the whole system calibrated. Everything's calibrated here. Once you launch the app, you go to main screen. In the main screen, a um, couple of, feature, couple of uh, features we have, vibration meter, spectrum, and uh, time wave um, uh, viewer in real time. The recording feature that it allows you to record the raw data and save it or export it and for future analysis. There's torsional vibration um, part that I'm not gonna go through this uh, feature. The measurement or database of the whole software or the app um, that once you record and save everything later, you can come back and just analyze those data and see it. And um, a few other things for setting. Well, let's um, let's go uh, see how we can do this. Well, this is a this is a small motor. I can run it, and we have a small disk connected to that. You can have imbalance, but for this case, it's, the system is a little pretty balanced, but it has a little imbalance um, on the disk too. Uh, we should be able to see that imbalance um, waveform here too. I'm running it. Uh, I don't know what the RPM uh, on this rotor is, but let's go through uh, each one by one. Um, the first one, I want to see overall vibration. If you go to vibration meter, you see the main page. It shows um, uh, the table or graphic here based on the ISO standard, ISO 10A16. Uh, uh, you have to select the, the group of machine, the type of the machine that you have. This is foundation, let's say for this case, for example, it's a rigid. And you can see the overall vibration um, in velocity here and also the acceleration RMS. You can change a unit, inch uh, or metric. You can read from channel one or channel two. Right now we're reading from channel one and then you can go here and see everything in full, um, in full uh, uh, screen. As you can see, the machine vibration is good. It's not really high, but it's pretty close to the yellow um, region. Um, depends we might have like a little bit of imbalance here at the end you can uh, generate an email by taking a screenshot of this one and it's going to send an email but since uh, we haven't configured the email here it's not going to uh, send an email now uh, or you can just take a screenshot here and just save it to your um to your uh all. all right so that was the first feature vibration meter so basically you can use the whole system as a vibration meter this app comes with um, I comes in iPhone um, version as well. So basically, you can take your iPhone. Exactly all the features that I'm talking about is available in iPhone as well. Take your iPhone and and use that as vibration meter um, and test the machine. Well, let's go to the spectrum. In the spectrum, we have either spectrum and time uh, waveform as well. There are so many features we have. This is the core part of the app, basically. 
Um, there's a setting inside the spectrum. Um, there are a couple of um, buttons down there that uh, for quick access. Uh, the main one on the left is uh, the one that you can switch from time and frequency. You can switch from velocity and acceleration. There is a peak um, cursor that you can select and automatically capture the top peak and switch from hertz, RPM. There is a, a zooming feature. You can enter what range that you want to look at it. The auto capture, auto zoom, and there are a lot of other things. You can save the data here as well. Um, when you go to setting, um, there is some setting here for background color, line color, uh, thickness of the line, um, having grid on the plot, um, or remove the grid, um, the x-axis, uh, let me just put it on the waveform so you can have a better uh, picture. And um, on the axis, you can uh, change the axis to log or linear, x or y, when you're in the spectrum. Um, the auto scale, you can have it on and off. Um, the unit for signal metric, imperial, frequency, hertz, or RPM. You can read each channel individually, or channel two, or all together if you're connected to both channels. In this case, you're only connected to channel one. You can see all channel one. You can see the vibration and acceleration or velocity when you're in spectrum. Um, again, you can switch from the spectrum to waveform, also in the setting. Um, Peak cursor, um, there, there is one feature that we have here called distance cursor. If you are, let's say, in the spectrum uh, and you want to just uh, look at a specific part of the signal, right? And for example, here, I want to just, let's put a thicker line. I want to see what is the distance between these two. There are two cursor here. I can just move one of them here and the other one here. And the information at the top, it tells you delta x. The difference between these is like 48 hertz, which is the RPM of this actual machine, this is 1x. So as you can see, the side bands um, are distance with that uh, RPM of the machine. So you can do a lot of analysis here uh, using those features that we have. Um, you can take a screenshot, as I said. Um, I'm gonna save this one for future reference. Um, anyway, if I go back here, um, uh, you can change, uh, wait, so we are, uh, we were here, um, peak cursor, distance cursor, and then there is another feature that we have here you can use is harmonic cursor. Uh, harmonic cursor means that you can um, put some cursor, how many harmonics you want to see, the lines on the harmonic, and you see like, for example, those peaks that you're seeing are harmonics of the machine or something else. You can add the number of harmonics that you want as a line on your spectrum. Um, you can automatically select the 1x frequency or you can define and, and enter it manually. Uh, another feature that we have here for vibration analysis is the sideband. Again, you can define this is my center frequency, you can enter it here, a number of sideband that you want, two, three, four, and um, the interval between sideband and automatically generate that and then it's a good tool to, ana to for, for vibration analysis. Let's say looking, you're looking at the bearing frequencies and high frequency. I'm gonna see if that's a bearing issue or not. So you can use this feature. You can um, look at the side bands, see like if those side bands are correlated to um, uh, 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 frequency uh, feature of the um, bearing. Um, so as I said, this is a setting inside that um, spectrum. You can pause it and play again. As you, as you see, I can pause and play and um, Mm, that's a very good tool for vibration analysis. Um, again, let me just go back one more time, look at the, the time wave right now here. As you see time wave form, it has a big um, low frequency signal and also high frequency which is sitting on the low frequency. The big frequency, I'm sure that this is the frequency of the RPM or rotational speed, 1x of the machine which represents we definitely we have imbalance. So how much imbalance we have, we don't know. We can improve uh, this signal, this vibration by doing balancing on this machine. But of course I have a little bit of imbalance. On any machine always you have imbalance. The question is how far, how, how bad that imbalance is. And those higher frequencies could be representing something. You should look at those frequencies. If you go to um, spectrum, you can see those uh, 1x, which is a very, very, very high peak here or the other um, uh, part of that as well. 
Uh, let's look at the, the graph scale. Remember I mentioned linear log. That's a very, very useful tool, especially we have a lot of um, small peaks here, but you want to just magnify them and be able to see them. I can put y axis, y, uh, x, um, y axis and make it uh, log instead of, um, um, instead of linear. Let me just go back here and just put it here so you can easily see it. Um, as you can see here now, I have the log scale. I can basically I magnify the, the small portion of the lowest part of the signal. Easily I can see what's going on here and go look at those. As you can see, the distance between these um, peaks, I'm sure those are the 1x frequencies. Well, we have a measurement summary page here that you can turn on and off. That's a very good and useful information from out of uh, the whole signal, which gives you all of those five or six peaks amplitude and frequency of them, uh, channel one, channel two, uh, if you have two channel and overall RMS, what's the frequency and you can use those overall information of your vibration. Um, you can have everything full screen as you can see if you have this iPad this size, you have very, very big screen for your vibration analysis. As I mentioned, all those features are available in iPhone as well. So you can do on your iPhone as well if you are at the field and you want to just do a quick test in the machine see what's going on. You have all the tool in your hand. This part, it's a record feature. I'm going to talk about recording and saving. In the previous page that I mentioned, also you have a saving. As you can see here, I can save that data and just uh, save it here. But um, let's go and later I'll show you how that works. So if you go to this section, which is a recording feature, you can record raw data from channel one, two, or both of them in different sampling frequency from 44 kilohertz or 22 kilohertz or 11 kilohertz. And you can say, well, the, the, the length of the data manually, I want to just select and stop, or just you mentioned, well, um, one, five, or 10, or 30 seconds. Keep in mind, this is a high sampling rate. It can be like huge amount of like data right away, very, very quick. So um, then after that, you can export it. Let's say, for example, I go to manual and just very quick, just for half a second, I capture that signal and I can export it, right, to my computer that I'm gonna show you, but before that, I'm gonna save it. For saving, when you go to save, the structure is plant, machine, and test point. So I'm gonna create plant one, right? You see the plant one created, select that one. You can create the machine, machine one, or motor, and select that machine, and then you have a test point, right? And you can say, well, um, left, um, left point, right? So create that one. Every time you go and take that measurement from that point, you can select that point, and it's gonna um, add that recorded vibration to that. You can take a picture of the whole machine as well. Um, let's do that here. Well, because I have a cover here, probably you can't see it, but if I take that cover, you should be able to take a recording and you can add a note, you can talk, and it just basically converts the text for you and save everything, and data is saved in that um, database. So now if I go back and look at that database, I should be able to see that one. As I mentioned, easily you can export this whole data in, in waveform or uh, CSV, very quickly. Let's see if I just uh, capture this one and send it out. This data that I just captured, I'm gonna go to export, CSV, export, that's a name. Um, since this is iPad, uh, I can directly um, wirelessly transmit it to my uh, computer, or you can just use the um, uh, email exporting option. Uh, but anyway, you will send the file here, and you can easily come here and just um, open, open that file. I'm not sure if you can see my screen, but I'm gonna open it with Excel. Keep in mind, that could be a huge amount of data. This is a half second, and we're talking about um, a lot of data, like around 10,000 uh, samples. So I'm not gonna plot all of them, but let's say if I wanna just plot a little bit of them, um, this is around 400 samples, right? Just quickly, I can generate um, and plot. You see, this one even is not a, a full cycle of the one full vibration that we're talking about. So okay, so here, easily you can just go to your computer and do for more analysis, or you can import to any other um, vibration or data analysis software that you have and use that one to 
do for deep analysis. Anyway, also you can save it to the file, you can uh, save it to open in other app that you have in your iPad, but there are so many options that you can just export and see the data. If I go back on the measurement, already created plant, machine, and you see the data here. If I have pictures and notes, I can see a picture and note here, I can export again, I can graph it again. So basically I have offline data that I measured and recorded and I can come back later, even the machine is off, right? I can just come here and do all those analysis features that I have, uh, that I mentioned I have here and I can use that one and see what's going on with the machine. Um, so this was a very, very quick demo. Let me see if I left out anything here. Um, well, there's a torsional vibration feature. I'm not gonna go through this torsional vibration. That's an, an optional external extra feature um, that you can get. Um, there is a main setting for the app. If you go to that part also, there is a main selector, uh, which you can select the data acquisition that you have as a wired or wireless. We have a wireless version as well. So you should make sure if you're connected to wired one, it's a selected wire. Otherwise the data is nothing. You can't see anything. Um, you should make sure the system is calibrated. This is the calibration part of the app. If the system calibrated, you shouldn't mess up with that one, um, unless you have calibrated with you and um, you can use that 1G standard calibration shaker um, connected to this channel, um, connected to this accelerometer and select channel one, calibrate or channel two as well. The standard that you saw in the vibration meter could be based on ISO 10, 8, one six or you can have your own custom standard you can define the threshold here and you can use that one that page the last part is for um, um, for our our use purpose and you don't need to worry about that as a feature code to activate some of the feature that you purchased um, for your subscription um, anyway so this was a very very quick demo of the whole system uh, it's called uh, iPad based vibration analyzer it comes with a couple of software. The main software is VibroTest Pro that I mentioned here um, for iPhone and iPad, and also a vibrometer that you can watch um, our other videos about uh, how you can use a vibrometer to do overall test of the machine. Um, if you have any question, you can always visit our, uh, visit our website, motionx.com, or you can watch um, our other videos or can contact us and shoot us an email. Thanks for watching.